again. Can I help you with something else? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Come back later if you need anything. Swank's smarter than Benny. This is just swell. Benny Vamooses and I'm left holding the bag. What do you need, kid? I saw him heading for his suite just a few minutes ago. Looked like a fox that just got caught in the hen house. Maybe you'll catch him there. Yeah, see you, kid. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes in Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip, and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Little escapes the notice of Kaisar. He has eyes everywhere. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Cursor Lucullus will be waiting. I hope you're doing well, friend. Events have transpired in a... less than optimal fashion. Benny has fled the Strip and the Platinum Chip has not been recovered. I suspected he'd found a way to access my encrypted databases, but, well, this explains it. That would be how he learned of the Platinum Chip in the first place, not to mention where to intercept you on your way in. Highly resourceful, Benny. He would have made a fine agent had he stayed loyal. It's fortunate you came along to replace him, and ironic. And whose idea was it to offer yourself up as a sacrificial lamb? Really, what did you expect? Are you going to keep giving him opportunities to kill you? It's becoming a hobby of his. His destination is hardly a mystery. It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the Platinum Chip. The Lucky 38 is the other, of course. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you could find one. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum Chip. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum Chip and open sesame. Something very important I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. 
What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. I expect that if Benny doesn't have the chip, Caesar will make sure you get it. More on that later. Be off. Make your way to Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Something very interesting awaits you. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there, the Lucky 38, I mean, and we were wondering if you could help us, if it's not too much trouble, of course. This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Well, now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out there? Can't be any worse than here. caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please, let me down. Please, for the love of God, let me down. No, please, don't leave me here. What business have you in Cottonwood Cove, outsider? You were the mark of Kaisar. You must be who Cursor Lucullus is waiting for. You may continue, but be warned. Mark or no, we will not tolerate aggressive action by visitors in the camp. Awe, are you ready to head upriver? 
I am Cursar Lucullus, and my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains receive this honor. All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Awe. True to Kaisar. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned Awe. man again. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. He's the best the Legion has to offer, or so the Legionaries say. Brute of a man, wears a fancy metal mask in a battle. He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. Shoot. No, sir. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. All right. Don't like the way the men are looking at me. If you're injured, I might have healing powder to spare. The Legate is not a man to be crossed, especially if you're a woman. That's all I'll talk about it. A vengeful spirit, some of the more superstitious women claim. He was a great leader of the Legion before he failed Kaisar. The story says he was set on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon. But his angry spirit rose from the ashes of his corpse, looking for revenge. Nonsense, probably, but there's no doubt that many in the Legion believe he's still alive somehow. What do you want to know? A small town in New Mexico. The Legion burned it a few years back. That's how I ended up here. Three years and counting. If I could just get across the river, I'd be free. Not that I'd try it. I've seen what happens when you get caught. We're property. If you're too young or too old, the men usually leave you alone. Usually. All right. What about it? Do you have some advice? Oh, I've been using two roots for flour. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries, healing powders and all that. I'm always running low on Xander root. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. I can't talk to you. 
It's not allowed. I guess that's okay. Um, if you're a friend, can you help me? Anthony took Sergeant Teddy away and gave him to the stinky dogs. I want him back. Anthony said he was punishing me for trying to hide it from the Legion. Thanks. Um, I help take care of the Brahmin. I sometimes bring water and food to people. Um, that's it. See you. Outsiders are a rare sight at the fort. Step carefully around here and you might just leave alive. I'm Antony, Master of the Hounds. The stupid girl should know by now that even the rags on her back are a privilege. Anyway, my mongrels like their new toy. Tell you what, you square off with four of my best dogs. No armor and no weapons except a machete. You survive, and I let you have the bear. All right, two it is. There'll still be more than enough to take you down, I think. I think they'll probably end up killing you. I trained them myself. But if you do win somehow, the mongrels will at least get honorable deaths. Good luck. You'll need it. And then, the fight. <clears throat> Let's paint this color. Red. Damn it! I thought they had you! Take the bear! I can't believe I let some of my best dogs get killed over this stupid thing! Your stuff is in the crate next to the arena entrance. Leave it there too long, and we'll dump it in the lake. Lupa. Yes, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. She's getting old, but she's still a tough old bitch. Aren't you, girl? Yeah. He's a story to frighten the younger legionaries. He's dead. No man, no matter how tough, could survive a fall into the Grand Canyon. Later! Hi. That's okay. I'll fix him. Can I have him now? Thank you. So long. The new slave girls are quite beautiful. So I finally get to meet the courier who's accomplished so much in so little time. That's why I summoned you here, right? I mean, a man nearly kills you, and your response is to track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat? You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? 
I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. Did I say I blame society? I know why I'm here, baby. Do you? Down to brass tacks. How'd your meet and greet with Baldy go? I'm the most interesting person I know. Now, in the way back, we called ourselves the Boot Riders. Silly name, but that's how we rode the Mojave, dig. On our feet. We were nomadic badasses not to be trifled with. A gang of ruffians, though, with a certain panache. When House gave us the tops to renovate, his robots dropped off boxes full of suits and ties and wingtip shoes. Told us we were the chairman now. That caused an uproar, but I said the name sticks. Chow to the old ways, baby. Time to swing in style. If the shoes fit, you wear them. Seven years. Took over three days after Mr. House introduced himself. Our chief at the time, mountain of a guy named Bingo, wanted to stay nomadic. I disagreed, so he challenged me to the knife. He looked so surprised when I stuck that knife in his neck. Thought he was so tough, but he was so slow. That's how I made chief. It's how things were back then. We were east of Vegas when the first Securitron we ever saw rolled up on us. We junked it in a minute flat. The next day, 20 roll up, so we listened. Said we'd been selected. Vegas needed us to defend it. In exchange, we'd get cushy digs, full stomachs, medical treatment. Everything a nomad never gets, in other words. Most of the tribe thought we should say no. I thought it was the best idea ever. I prefer the term relocated. It took every stealth boy I had to cross the river at Cottonwood Cove. That was a close shave, riding a boat full of Legion boys. Once I was across, I changed into a uniform. I swiped off a dead Legionary outside Nelson. Tried to sneak into the bunker, but that didn't work out. They found the chip. I wasn't going to tell them what it was used for, but let's just say they were persuasive. Go on. I never tire of talking about myself. Go on. Which greedy overlord do you want to start with? Mr. House hides Vegas under his skirt when the bombs fall a thousand years ago, so it belongs to him? Forever? You buy that? Baby, every boss has a line to explain why he's special. Why everyone's got to do what he says. You're just figuring that out? Vegas got to swing, baby. Got to have pizzazz. Respect where due. But that old man is square to the core. The chairmen are true blue. The omertas are degenerates. Never trust them. Or the white gloves. Just something creepy about them. Set it up right and the families will roll with your caper. You might have to do some convincing. Ain't we covered this? The only thing not bad about them is they ain't legion. The NCR is the biggest gang of thieves in the Mojave. Only difference is, they pass laws to make their crimes legal before they commit them. Nah, just spruce it up with a crucifixion here and there. Come closer so I can step on you. The Legion is twisted, baby. Original losers worshipping the King of Creeps like he's some kind of god. They're worse than roaches. My advice? Put on your stomping shoes. Now you're talking. That is the ring-a-ding move, baby. First base is whatever Mr. House would have you do. Follow orders, rig the game to his specifications. 
Then, when he ain't looking, you knock him out of the running and find a way to take control of those Securitrons of his. Go see Yes Man. I made it so that cat can't help but be helpful. Go on. Sure. Baldy wants you to go down there in the bunker and destroy whatever Mr. House stashed there. Oh, you don't want to do that, baby. Whatever's down in that bunker is the key to the city called Vegas. So here's what you do. You go down there and you use the chip to do whatever Mr. House would have wanted you to do. And when you get back to the strip, you find Yes Man. I made it so that cat can't help but be helpful. Dig? Try not to smile so wide, baby. You might break your mouth. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Yeah, to die in my sleep at a ripe old age after a marathon session of Hey Hey with 30 sex star broads. You'll set that up? Look, I ain't a harbor for illusions. I ain't expecting to get out of this shindig alive. That's why I'm trying to hand you my scheme, baby. It's called having a legacy. You do that for me, baby? Don't tease if you don't mean it. So you keep saying. The direct approach, eh? But you should wait until the bunker's taken care of. Caesar won't like it if you eat dessert. Yeah, real popular around here. It's a crowd pleaser. The direct approach, eh? Fair enough. But you should wait until the bunker's taken care of. Caesar won't like it if you eat dessert first. So you keep saying. Sweet to offer, baby, but if you cut these ropes, every legionary in this camp's gonna come running, with machetes. Now, on the other hand, if I had a stealth boy and a bobby pin, I could see myself out. Know what I mean? Baby, if you show me the door to Scramsville, that's where I'll go. Out of your hair, never to return. I've been a fink to you. Caused more than my share of grief by a hard mile. Let me go. You won't see me again. Checks in the mail, hey? Don't get my hopes up. I know, so many options. How do you choose just one? Ta-ta. The camps are...